Lecture 4-3 will discuss Thevenin and Norton equivalent circuits. Similar to our circuit simplification technique for source transformations in Lecture 4-2, Thevenin and Norton equivalence is helpful when what you really want to know are the terminal characteristics of a circuit, such as the voltage, the current, the power delivered to a load. The way we do this is we find the Thevenin and Norton equivalent circuit to the left of the terminals and then use that simplified circuit in order to answer the questions. Once again, remember, equivalent means same voltage, same current, same resistance across terminals A and B. Once I do the Thevenin and Norton equivalent, nothing inside the circuit will have the same voltage, current, or resistance characteristics. A Thevenin equivalent circuit involves a voltage source in series with a resistor. The voltage source is V Thevenin, and the resistor is R Thevenin. This means an independent voltage source, not dependent. When that circuit is simplified to be a current source in parallel with a resistor, it's called the Norton equivalent circuit. The current source is called I Norton. The resistor is called R Norton. As you could probably imagine, to go from the Thevenin to the Norton equivalent circuit, we use source transformations. So the relationship between the Thevenin equivalent and Norton equivalent circuit is source transformations. So R Thevenin and R Norton are the same and V Thevenin is related to I Norton by Ohm's law. To find V Thevenin, we find the open circuit voltage between terminals A and B. So V Thevenin is the same as VOC, the open circuit voltage. To find I Norton, we find the short circuit current between terminals A and B. So I Norton is the same as ISC. There are several techniques that we can use to find the Thevenin and Norton equivalent of a circuit. However, when the configuration allows, one of the most simple ways to do it is to just do source transformations. So let's look at the following circuit. We have a 32 volt source in series with a four ohm resistor in parallel with a 12 ohm resistor and two amp current source in series with a one ohm resistor. RL, the resistor with the arrow through it is called a potentiometer or a variable resistor. In this case, that resistor serves as the load. What we'll do is we'll remove the load from the circuit and find the Thevenin equivalent resistance to the left of terminals A and B or to the left of the load. So I have a 32 volt source, a four ohm resistor, a 12 ohm resistor, a two amp current source, and a one ohm resistor. So V Thevenin is the open circuit voltage to the left of terminals A and B. So what I'm going to do is simplify the circuit down to a voltage source in series with a resistor and that would be my Thevenin equivalent circuit. So the transformation is gonna happen on the left. I have a 32 volt source in series with a four ohm resistor. So when I do a source transformation, that becomes eight amps in parallel with four ohms, in parallel with 12 ohms, in parallel with two amps, and all of that is in series with a one ohm resistor. All of those elements in parallel can be combined. The eight amp and the two amp current source creates a net two amps pointing up, 10 amps. The four and 12 in parallel can be combined to become a three ohm resistor and that's in series with that one ohm resistor. I'll perform one more source transformation on the 10 amp current source and the three ohm resistor, and that gives me a 30 volt source in series with the three ohm and the one ohm resistor, which I'll go ahead and put those together, and that will be four ohms. This is the Thevenin equivalent circuit. Once I have simplified that to a voltage source in series with a resistor, it's the Thevenin equivalent circuit. And that means that this 30 volts 
is V Thevenin, and the four ohms is R Thevenin. If I want the Norton equivalent circuit, I do a source transformation. So when I do a source transformation, I will have a current source in parallel with a resistor. 30 divided by four gives me 7.5 amps. The resistor does not change. It's still four ohms. This is the Norton equivalent circuit. So this means that the current source is I Norton and the resistor, which is the same as R Thevenin, is R Norton. So now the question asks to find the power delivered to a load resistor. So if the load resistor is five ohms, the way that we find the power delivered is we do not go back to the original circuit. We use either the Thevenin or Norton equivalent to answer the question. This is the benefit of the Thevenin and Norton equivalent. It's more complicated to find the power delivered to the load resistor for the original circuit. If I use the Thevenin equivalent, I simply put that variable resistor RL, which is five ohms across terminals A and B, and then I could find the current IL or the voltage VL and the power delivered to the load would be either VL IL or IL squared times RL or VL squared over RL. Let's assume we're gonna find the current. The power delivered to the load would be 30 divided by nine squared times five and that power delivered would be 55.5 watts. Note that you could also use the Norton equivalent circuit to do the same thing. So I would have the 7.5 amps here, a four ohm resistor here, and then I would put the load resistor across terminals A and B, and it's going to be five ohms so then if I wanted to get the voltage, PL would be equal to 7.5 times four in parallel with five to get the voltage, square that value and divide it by five. And that's also 55.5 watts. So now the challenge becomes, what do you do when you can't do source transformations? I still need to find the Thevenin and Norton equivalent circuit. Well, you have many, many options. So let's go over some of them. We already know that alternative one is source transformations. However, if you cannot do source transformations, to find our Thevenin, if you only have independent sources, you can turn off all of the independent sources and find the equivalent resistance seen at terminals A and B, which is R Thevenin. If you have dependent sources, you can actually apply a test source voltage or current after you turned off the independent sources and find the voltage across or current through that test source and use the relationship R Thevenin equals V test over I test. If when you do the test source method, R Thevenin produces a negative value in your calculation, this implies that the circuit is actually absorbing power, if it was assumed to be delivering power or vice versa. We never ever get a negative resistance, so it's the absolute value of V test over I test if you get a negative value for the voltage or the current. For any combination of independent and dependent sources, you can always find the open circuit voltage across terminals A and B to get V Thevenin, and you can find the short circuit current between terminals A and B to get I Norton. If you do this technique, R Thevenin is VOC over ISC, or V Thevenin divided by I Norton. The question becomes, if I wanna find R Thevenin by turning off independent sources, how do you turn off an independent source? Well, to turn off a voltage source, you want to make it zero volts. And to turn off a current source, you want to make it zero amps. So the way that we make a voltage source zero volts is you replace it with a short circuit. You will have a lab where you have to do this. To replace 
a current source to turn it off, you replace it with an open circuit, which is zero amps. So think zero volts, short circuit, zero resistance. Think open circuit, zero amps, infinite resistance. Okay, let's try an example where we find the equivalent resistance or the R thevenin resistance between terminals A and B. The first thing I want you to recognize is that you cannot do source transformations on this circuit. Well, why not? Remember, we can only do source transformations when we have a voltage source in series with resistors. We do not. And when we have a current source in parallel with resistors, we do not. We do have a four ohm resistor in series with a current source. However, the two of them are not in parallel with a resistor. So the first thing is you cannot do source transformations. So we have to use one of our other alternatives. What we're gonna do here is find our thevenin. And the way we're going to do that is first, let's draw this circuit with the independent sources turned off. To turn off a current source, you replace it with an open circuit. And then I draw the four ohm resistor. To turn off a voltage source, you replace it with a short circuit. And then we have an eight ohm resistor here and an eight ohm resistor here and a five ohm resistor here. Our thevenin is the equivalent resistance seen between terminals A and B. So our thevenin is the resistance between A and B. So now, the re equivalent resistance does not depend on the four ohm resistor. Why not? The four ohm resistor is called either a dangling or a dummy resistor. The reason it does not depend on it is if you think about it, it does not create a closed circuit. If you think about measuring resistance as applying a small voltage and measuring the current, no current would flow through that four ohm resistor. Therefore, it does not affect the equivalent resistance. You can actually just take it out. So I'll do that now. And what I'll have left is an eight ohm resistor in series with an eight ohm resistor. And those two would be in parallel with the five ohm resistor. So our thevenin would be equal to eight plus eight in parallel with five or 16 in parallel with five. So the thevenin equivalent resistance is 3.81 ohms. So now let's do the open circuit method to find V thevenin. The open circuit voltage between terminals A and B can be found by either doing the mesh current or the null voltage method. Since I'm actually looking for a voltage and I have a branch current here and I'm not sure if I should put the ground on the left or on the right, I'm actually going to do a KVL loop for this one. So if I write the KVL equation for that one loop, I'll have 8i plus 5i plus 8i equals 12. 8 plus 5 plus 8 is 21. So 21i equals 12, or i is equal to 12 over 21, which reduces to 4 over 7 amps. Since the open circuit voltage V thevenin is the same as the voltage across the five ohm resistor, V thevenin is going to be equal to five times I, which is equal to 20 over seven, or 2.857 volts. How about I Norton? To find I Norton, we do the short circuit method, which means you put a wire between terminals A and B, and then you find the current through that wire. So the first thing I'm going to do is to copy down the circuit. Eight ohms, eight ohms, four ohms, two amps, 12 volts. Here's the five ohm resistor. And then put a wire between terminals A and B. And I'm going to show the current through that wire as I Norton. Now, here's our another special case for how to handle resistors. I have put a wire here which shorts this resistor out. Remember, the voltage across a short circuit is zero volts, which makes the voltage across a five ohm resistor zero volts. 
If the voltage is zero, the current is zero, this resistor has no effect on my analysis. It's shorted out. So I can actually redraw the circuit and remove that resistor. I'm going to do that now. So I have two amps, four ohms, 12 volts, eight ohms, eight ohms. The five ohm resistor is gone and the short is still where the current for I Norton will flow. So now I can do mesh again where the loop current is already labeled as I Norton. So the KVL equation is going to be 8I Norton plus 8I Norton equals 12 or I Norton is equal to 12 over 16 which reduces to 3 fourths or 0 0.75 amps. So now if I want to find R thevenin, it's the open circuit voltage over the short circuit current or V thevenin over I Norton, which is 3.81 ohms. And what you should note here is, is this is the same circuit from the prior example. So I've now shown two different ways to find R thevenin and both of them yield the same result. The last thing we'll do is we're gonna draw the Thevenin equivalent circuit. The Thevenin equivalent circuit is a voltage source in series with a resistor. The voltage source is 2.857 volts. The resistor is 3.81 ohms. And we will also draw the Norton equivalent circuit, which is a current source in parallel with a resistor. The value of the current source is 0.75 amps and the value of the resistor is 3.81 ohms. This concludes our example of the open circuit, short circuit method to find V Thevenin, I Norton, and R Thevenin.